Well, welcome home for Butch and Sunny. Their homecoming has been a very long time in the making. What was meant to be a one-week trip of a lifetime turned into a month. Then nine. It's been a real mission to get them back to Earth, but finally we have splashed down. This was supposed to be an eight-day mission. They're going to be very frail, fragile, and they have many years of recovery ahead of them. It's like a storyline from an old TV show. <laughs> Two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, left Earth on June 5 last year, bound for the International Space Station for a short mission. Instead, they orbited the Earth about 4,580 times over the past 286 days. Let me just show you what liquids look like up here. It was endless months of exercising and entertaining themselves. NASA assigned them scientific studies to complete. It's one experiment after another. There's ones with uh, plant growth. Every day there's all sorts of actions. It's never seemingly repetitive. It's always fun, never boring. This morning, the journey came to an end. Returned to Earth by Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon Freedom 17 hours after undocking from the ISS. After re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, a spectacular deployment of the parachutes and a soft splashdown in the ocean of Florida. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. What a ride. Support craft arrived. Freedom, hypergolf sweeps and unfired ordnance checks are nominal. Rigging is in progress. And the Dolphins knew it was time to party. Playing out live on American primetime television, the magic moment came when first Sonny, then Butch, emerged from Dragon Freedom. Sonny's smile and Butch's double thumbs up said it all. The pair ventured to the International Space Station aboard a Boeing Starliner on a test flight which would have certified the Starliner to routinely transport crew to and from the ISS. But the Boeing's thrusters malfunctioned and the decision was made to return the craft without the astronauts. Months passed and Boeing struggled to find a solution to go back and get them. Swinburne University astronomer and space flight expert Professor Alan Duffy. This was absolutely Boeing's mission uh, to return them. They, they, there is no doubt that they have spent a lot of money trying to uh, make the Starliner program work. Uh, the fact that it has failed to return the astronauts is an enormous PR coup for SpaceX, their main competitors. NASA, which works with both Boeing and SpaceX as private contractors, commissioned SpaceX to return them. Newly elected President Donald Trump personally asked close friend Musk to get them home. We're coming up to get you. I've authorized Elon. I said, can you get them out? Because, you know, they've been left up there. I hope they like each other. We have, all of us have the utmost respect for Mr. Musk and obviously respect and admiration for our president of the United States, uh, Donald Trump. This is a, a significant moment for SpaceX, uh, but it was also a success, even though it's not being seen in this way publicly, uh, it is a success for NASA. They backed two competing companies and helped both of those mature their technologies so that they would have a backup option if one of them failed. Musk elated with the mission. Thanks to the excellent work of the SpaceX team working with NASA, uh, the, the, the astronauts are now safely home. And um, so congratulations to the SpaceX NASA teams on excellent work um, and a, a huge uh, note of appreciation to President Trump for uh, prioritizing and expediting their return. After so long in space, adapting to life on Earth will be Butch and Sonny's immediate problem and priority. The astronauts' bodies begin to just, well, decay. And even though they have detailed uh, uh, gym regimes up on space and have the best nutrition possible, they are still suffering one to two percent bone loss density per month. That means they're uh, the density of the bones has decreased by 10, maybe even 15 percent. Throughout it all, neither of them complained once. 
They simply did what they were trained to do. And how great is it to have them back?